production tuh pos pos semua di sini bayangkan katalis gereja kecil katalis gila mbak endah ngeliat gue paling pertama Yeah. Because after the pandemic is, okay. wasn't a good place to live. Because our boy told me that they they eat the the leaf off from the rice. Okay, kita sekarang lagi di LA Sound Design, David Phillips. Alright, so we're here at uh, Dave Phillips workshop in LA Sound Design. How do you, Dave? How are you? Well, this is like. The man, I've I've used your boards. I I got two of them, like P101 and the buffer that you got. Oh, so thank you. It's happy to to be here. So like, uh, gears galore, right? What yeah, you, I'm. I got. And I, I follow your YouTube since '08 or '09. Remember uh, that one? I, the one you, you always not showing your your face, right? No, like, I, I'm I'm my end. <laughs> like, you're you're. Showing I want me. people to listen to the sound as opposed to look at me playing. <laughs> and you're one of the guys who inspired me to, to play Tyler's as well. Oh, thanks. Remember yeah, the maple one? Yep. So, uh, can you like elaborate what's uh, what you're having here? Like, well, this is my personal board. Oh, this is a personal this board. This is my oh, personal yeah. board and this is my personal amps. I'm, and try I really want to buy this one back in, like, I got Amazing. I got, it's so good. This is like 50, 60, right? This is the SC60. Tim Pierce has a 50, right? No, he had the 60 as well. It's a very dark Marshall. It's like a super bass with a I never tried right. this one. Oh. So good, I love them. It's not heavy gain, All but right. it's the right amount of gain. Okay. So I, I got I got this from Rick Springfield for like thirteen. From Rick Springfield, guys. Yeah. Wow. And she, How much? Thirteen hundred bucks. <laughs> we bought two of them actually. My wife my, is, is watching like <laughs> I'm I'm gonna scroll it on eBay. <laughs> my friend got one and I got one, so because I had because I like the sound of it. So this is your rig, by the way. Is that this is my main rig. This is a JTM forty five one hundred clone that was built by Valve Storm. Right. And then it's. And then uh, 1972 greenbacks that Land Michael Landau sold me that I put. What oh, is Landau? Right. The speakers are yeah, right. And then that's a 170 watt twin plex that Roy Blankenship built me for my. That's what I test all the boards with through a clean oh, platform. Okay, so that's the clean platform for the 45 pedals to set the test for all the pedals. Right. And right. blackbacks and that these are Kerry Wright cabinets. Yeah, right. who, who, he was like the greatest cabinet builder that passed away right a few years ago. Oh, he already passed away now. He passed away unfortunately. Yeah. And then I have the two satellite board and a lot of vintage stuff on here. Yeah, this one's rad. 72 phaser. <laughs> this is a clone of a Hendrix uh, Buzz that a guy upstate New York makes. So everything, all the delays and verbs that your concept is for pedals is like on the front? Like front. Everything I do is front. Except okay. if I'm doing a rig for someone that has an effects loop. Okay. Or I'm playing rack stuff. So what's your concept about front? Is it okay with it? I prefer the sound of clean amps with gain pedals because I think it sounds a little bit more bigger. Okay. When you start going into master volume and gained up amps, they get smaller. Right. You know, like a plexi kind of clean with pedals in front of it, it's gonna be enormous sound. Yeah, right. You know, then again, sometimes pedals sound like pedals. Yeah. But I, I have a balance because I want to get all my sounds into one clean platform, kind of like Eric Johnson does. So if you have like a nailer for drives, it's just like drive only. Or drive like, only. I can use any of these amps clean and get my sound with the pedals. Yeah. Because I have the three different chains. I reckon you like you love third stones so well. Like, I love the third stone. That's great. And I love you know, these replicas. I have a germanium experience at home, mm. which is my favorite. I have that one also. Supermoon's good. Huh? Supermoon's great. I love the Echo Rec for delay. The Vibro is amazing. Univibe. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, I use yeah. a Dumbloid for my my gain sound and the XTS Precision for for my lead sound and then my rhythm sound is a fuzzy tube driver. So everything of here uh, goes into the input, right? It goes into the input okay. of the clean amp and I can go between three different clean, uh, rhythm, and lead. And the amazing thing about Dave is like, it's very, it's like piece of art, this pedal, all your pedal boards, right? Like, I'm a big fan of your work. I have OCD, so I like everything to be organized and neat, or I... I, 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 I told my wife, you got, you got to make today a sort of like base. Oh, I'm just going to have a little little board, but 
even little or large? Is it? It has to be neat and organized. See? <laughs> Yeah, and so. then, you know, this is a board for a guy in Minnesota that wanted a George Lynch-inspired board. Okay. So he used some of the pedals that George Lynch used Okay. back in the day. My friend, we just bought this, right, Andre? Like, yeah. The other day at Guitar yeah. Center, right? It's, it's decent. Yeah, yeah right. it's a good pedal. It's a good pedal. Yeah. I, I think mean, the key is this, the presence and the deep, right? Yeah. I wish it sounded like an X88, like, you know, like that. Right, yeah. But it doesn't, you know. Mm. So what's, what's your current overdrive pedal that you love? Like lately, overdrive or distortion? Overdrives. Overdrives. The the King Tone Duelist is awesome. Okay. I yes. love the Shin Dumbloid. Okay, I've never tried that one. I love the uh, XTS Precision. Right. Multi drive. That's great. Uh, all the Vemaram stuff is killing. Like the Shanks ODS one. And, yeah. And the yeah. Jan Ray. Yeah. Those are great overdrive pedals. Can I, can I, can I try to hear it? Like, yeah, can yeah, yeah, you can. Do I have some for you? Yeah, no, sure. Oh, this is the famous Maple Tyler that... That's the shop, Tyler. <laughs> that, uh, what year is it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go to Rich tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm gonna go to Rich tomorrow. 2000... Hey, this is like... What is it, 2007? Ooh. Jim gave it to me. No way. Yeah, for the shop, as a demo guitar. Dude. So that's I've been beating on that thing forever. Here, oh, right, right, right. It's okay. This is your angle, right? It's like, oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's your your angle right here. Oh, you, is it okay with a bit small cable like this for instrument? Sonically, that's that's the sound that's very open that doesn't color. So I okay. use a smaller cable to the board, and I use a darker cable from the board. So if I want to hear the guitar without anything added, that's what I'll use because it's very open, like Eric Johnson. So this would be the clean sound. Wow. That's basically delaying reverb. It's not, it's uncolored sound, it's clear, yeah. It's very clear, you know, like our Johnson.
Basically, and then I'm running this chase tone. So everything here, like this one, is like a, like a, I saw Lando was using it like like a modular modular pedal. Is it like this well, one? this is all stuff that's kind of bit that goes before game. Okay. So I I, I, I just, oh, okay. I put it on a separate board because I didn't want it all of it. In a so the fuzz is not before the buffers, right? There was no buffers on oh, this okay. board. So it's, um, like it's basically right. fuzzes and then into the shin shin boost, then the fuzz, then the chase tone, gotcha. and then the rest of the board. Gotcha. And you know, like I said, I can just go the clean, easily.
was like, it's like a one trick pony with only yeah. just like one channel. Yeah, like, go away. <laughs> show again yeah we'll, we'll be back in january though yeah have you played many tyler's i own a couple uh, you do i own a couple what uh, kind of schmears like? i got the dan half floyd nice and then i got a uh a landau okay old one. one and uh, a studio eight yeah that that's a japanese one that's yeah. great what do you think about the japanese ones love them love they're them. amazing great build quality i mean equal with the u.s quality i think right I own I own four Tyler's. So this one is the the, the That's main. That's the fifth one. That's just the shop one, but I have four more at home. Yeah. And I used to build them for six years. I that's what I did. I built. I worked at Tyler. Oh, you were worked at Tyler. Yeah, two thousand six like, to what? Like uh, the electronics one? Or? I did uh, all the wiring. I did uh, neck fretting. I did bodies on the on the. Yeah, we kind of to go all the tomorrow. shipping. I mean, wow. I, for six years, I built Tyler's. Wow! 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 Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious love, about that. I love the blue man. Like, yeah, check that one out. See, see what you think. Wow. Right, right, right. But everything else, the, the, I mean, the tops are off the charts, the paint jobs. If yeah. you like, I think it's just like the, the, the like, all the scallops one, is it the same? Like, the, the, yeah, I think it's a the, little lighter. Right. Uh, these days. This guy's gonna get two hot stacks in here, my friend, and then the series parallel, parallel. lead rhythm, the whole deal. Like so, the, the huffs. Right. Yeah, we're we're dropping that off. With the Have you tried the yellow ones? I got. I tried the yeah, yellow. Yeah, we did a video for it that I hope Rich posts soon. It's it's got a beautiful neck. Oh, great neck! I mean, like that's, that's, that's like a smaller feels... huff neck, you know. Where right. you know. it's better. It's different than mine's though. It's like mine's like wider and like thicker a bit, like mm -hmm. fifty nines. Yeah, that's a little. That's kind of in line with the the huff and the smaller neck. Yeah, I'll be back. Right? Yeah, and uh, I, I can email you right on. Yeah. I got the number also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long are you in town? I'll be back. Uh, we already here two weeks, right? So like on Thursday, we'll be back. Oh, shame because Landau's playing. The I know. Catalina on Thursday with uh, Steve Gann. Thursday. Thursday. I, oh, Thursday shit. night. I know. I know. I was just like someone at. We were at the baked potatoes. Like, you, did you? Do you gonna watch Landau? What? When? Thursday. <laughs> you gonna watch it? 
Oh yeah, I'm going on Thursday. All right. Yeah. Did you see? Well, I think you've seen. You it. you built. So he's uh, having his now new signature, right? The coma, right? Yes. I got. I think I might order one for myself. Okay. I can't help it, but. And you build the board just for him? I do all of his boards. Yeah. So the new one. The new one. Yeah, all of my sports. Yeah. This is. And you've seen. You. I think you've seen our boost pedal. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Buffer boost. It's it's also in stock or something. These are in stock. I got about how, how much is it? Now? Uh, one ninety five. One ninety five. Okay. And that's basically my buffer and a boost in one pedal. Right. And it could be the boot buffer for the whole board and an independent boost as well. Okay. My friend got a Kasha Rockmat one, oh, but it's like it's like phasing. It's like <laughs> is that yeah, what? Is that why? Is it? No, there could refresh. be issues with it, and there's no one to work on it. It's tough. Uh, yeah, and then I got this yeah, this ha this two stereo thingy, right? I don't know. Like <laughs> most of them work great, but uh, sometimes they're wrong. Maybe twenty pounds. Right? Yeah. And he goops the board, so yeah. So I cannot. Yeah. Would you put all that in there? I'll send you an email if, like, if you yeah, yeah, if yeah. I yes. brought it. Yeah. So he's this is this is a, a local client that uh, yeah. oh, yeah. put together yeah. a you know vintage yeah. studio yeah. rack. So right. All the professionals get this. Wow.